Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, as you well know, and we're going to cover some flowers today so that you can take any of these flowers and multiply the same flower or use a variety of different flowers. And the easiest place to start are molds because then you're going to get an exact, rep exact replica and they, you can mass produce those pretty quickly. These molds are from Whisper Fairy. I've mentioned her before, and she's one of my favorite mold makers. So this is purple. This is iris purple, by the way. Let's use this. I think this is iris purple right here. So So we want to dust with just a little bit of cornstarch, not a lot. And I use a wooden uh, tool. You can find these on Amazon pretty easily for clay. I use a wooden tool in order to scrape these off, and I'll show you what I mean. So you want to make sure you press it in and then just scrape it. That's why I like the flat molds. These have a little roundness to them, which I don't care for. But what I do like about these molds is that they're, um, they're bendy. There's a durometer, it's called, that I talked to a, a, a man who designs this um, silicone plastic so you can make your own molds, which I started to. It's just... There's just so many other things to do, but maybe someday I'll make my own molds. Because if this is flat, then you get a much cleaner release from it. You don't have to futz with that back right there. But see, there you go. There's a flower. And then if you wanted to put... So in the process of... Because I'll sit and make hundreds of flowers and let them cure and then use them as I need them because... Maybe I'll make all these purple and then I'll go through and make all a dark, darker purple, etc. So then I can have something to choose from when I decide to make a soap or I'm inspired by a fragrance oil. So there's two ways to do this. This one's a little bit more fiddly. That's going to be too much. So let's do this. Okay, so we're going to use these push molds. So I've Round, I made a little round pellet or ball of soap dough and I put a little orange center in it and then what I'm going to do is stick it right in the center. There you go. There's one way of doing that. Here's another. And I'm just using this one because it's my favorite little. So there's one. We want to take that center out. This is a little bit more fiddly, but just as effective. And I did have a little cup of water here. Oh, here we are. There, and so there's another way. So there's there's those right there. And then, let's see, here's a little sunflower one. We'll make a purple sunflower. And then you can just drop that in there and put this on top. And it has to be very specifically on top, otherwise it'll smear. See how it smeared? That is not as effective for sure. And that's a little bit trickier, so let's do that. Those sunflowers I like quite a bit, and I have a hard time getting them lined up. So, obviously, that sunflower should be yellow, not purple, but that's just what I happen to have. There. 
and I kind of like that 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 one cleaner and that's why I've never really perfected this one here because of that smear unless I'm in a really big hurry and I'm trying to just get stuff done I'd prefer to have them neater like this and that works a little bit better okay so now you can see some of these molds and you can go ahead and figure those out because they're relatively self-explanatory but let's do another another flower so the other day I was explaining these little eyelet flowers uh, leaves here's another use for them These should be coming in any day now, so we'll have those available. They're harder to find, so I wanted to make them available because they're really a super useful tool. And I mean, most certainly you can use these um, without the plastic, except to say that the plastic helps um, keep this clean. Oh, there we go. Helps keep this clean. And um, so that you don't have to get up and wash it what will it'll if you use it too many times just on direct soap dough it'll get sticky let's see if we can get this guy out of the way not quite yet there I kind of smashed it it's okay I want him to be a little bit scrunchy there, I'll put him up there, let him dry. Him, whatever. and I sort of not exactly mash them down. When I make them bigger, I'll show you. I put them in a cone so that the insides are lower than the outside so they, they curve down like that.
And there's your little rows. And what I do is usually make them like this and then cut them in half so that I can ensure that they're going to stick up in the soap. And I don't usually make roses bigger than that for whatever reason. I'm just not that curious about them. I'm not that interested in making them that much bigger. But, um, and I usually tuck those in. So I make uh, some center pieces and add a variety of different ones and then try to not replicate um, too many uh, in a row. Like I wouldn't put a bunch of sunflowers next to each other, these next to each other. Try to put them variegated in that sense, but it really depends on what molds you have. There's also something to be said for the commitment of making everything in one color. I've done that before too. That's pretty pretty nice and, and dramatic. But I, I'm teaching at different levels and different levels, layers of complication. So I'm trying to show you the um, some simple things to do but also some complicated things. So please tell me if tell me if you're if you're learning at any kind of good pace or if you and then of course you get to come in here and see this one's much bigger. It probably should be thinner, don't you think? I think the little flowers parts. Let's make it thinner. I'm open to feedback for sure. I, I just have an idea, I have a vision, and I'm gonna follow that vision until I figure out something different. And and I don't think that it's gonna hurt to continue to, to show you what I've created so far. So there's that one, and you can see the difference in those two. And then when you put them on top of your soap, like that, you put them on top of your soap, mostly these I tuck in. So these I lay on top and they'll just drop right on wet soap. And then if you need them, to, if you want to wait till your cold process soap that you freshly poured is a little bit firmer, they'll also, you can push them in and tuck them inside of the soap. And these I put in, I want them to sink to about there. So makes them a little bit more stable. I've made these and they're a little fiddly. Like, so if you think about it, if you're making it this, this height, and then you try to set it on top, you're going to have to just set it on top and barely get it to tuck in. And then your fingers, I mean, they're just a little bit more fiddly. So if this is longer, then you have an opportunity to stick it in without touching the soap. Just my thoughts on that. Mold leaves? Leave, yeah, mold leaves. Molds that are that have the shape of leaves and that, you it seems self-explanatory. You don't need me to show you how to do that because I just showed you how to make the flowers with a mold. So. But what if you don't have a mold and you want to have a couple little leaves? This is dramatic. I just am using it for the camera because it's so bright that it'd be easy to see. So if you don't have um, a, a mold or you don't want to use mold leaves, molded leaves, let's put it that way, then you could just make them yourself. And I, I've shown this before. It's just you pull a piece off and it makes an almost immediate teardrop like that. And so just flatten it a bit. Whoop. Make a line in there. So there's that. And you can make them as big or as small as you want too. So that's pretty helpful. or as long as you want. And you can put them together like that. And there's a variety of little leaves you can make, little tiny, tiny leaves, and then stick them to something. And if you just watch this video and you just wanna put some little tiny embellishments on your soap. Hopefully this will help you get moving in a way 
to do that. My fingers have soap on them. I'm going to have to wipe them off here in a second. So the soap dough is a little bit too wet right now to do this, but I just wanted to show you. You can make it a little bit more detailed if you like. And you can study botanicals and copy their, you know, a natural, a flower's leaf pattern. Um, I've extruded green from, from an extruder and made pine cone or pine needles. So I don't have one loaded with green, but I do have one loaded with this. And so what you do is pretend this is green, and then you'd separate these. I, <laughs> I separate these like this and lay them flat. And then let them dry a bit and then lay my branch on top of it so pretend those are green if you can anyway there you go there's a really quick tutorial on how to make handmade flowers and there are so many varieties of flowers you can make here I'll show you one real quick one here's another one center of a bigger flower you can use it for the flower itself I've made flowers the same color soap dough and left it like this wrapped it continually wrapped it but anyway I just wanted to give you a quick a quick video about how to make flowers hope that helped thanks for watching see you soon